Hello and welcome to Culture Shock. I'm Evan. I'm Brent. What are we talking about today, Brent? Today we're talking about school cultural festivals in Japan. Hmm. No, we're not. We're talking about school sports fe festivals. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's do that again. Uh. Hello. I'm... Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to Culture Shock. I'm Evan. I'm Brent. What are we talking about today, Brent? Today we're talking about school sports days in school Japan. School sports days. Yeah. Ooh. Now, we have sports over here. We have school. Yeah. But this is a special day in Japan for Japanese schools where they have special sports events at their school for every uh, student in the school. What, like baseball, soccer? A little different, more like track and field. Track and field. Yeah, so they'll do running events and races and tug of war oh, and things like wow. that. And the neat thing is it's um, uh, all the kids in a grade will come together um, or uh, all the kids in a class and uh, sort of compete against each other and against other kids in the school. So it's a, a way for you to sort of mingle and see other kids in the school and see the entire school all at once. It's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's called Undokai in Japanese, and it's held once, uh, one day a year, usually in the spring or the fall. Hmm. It's nice weather. Good weather, yeah. Exactly. On a Saturday or a Sunday, so it doesn't interfere with, with uh, uh, school. Um, and it's ha often held near the second Monday in October, which is National Health and Sports Day. Oh, like national, that. a national whole health, day a whole, dedicated to exactly. sports now, and health. Why would there be a Japanese holiday devoted to health and sports? It goes back to the Olympics when Japan uh, that hosted makes the Olympics sense. In, in 64. So in 66, this was started to uh, commemorate the Olympics and to get more people involved in sports and health and things along those lines. But uh, these actually go all the way back to the 1870s. Oh, even farther. Absolutely. So Admiral Douglas, who was stationed in Japan, started this at the Imperial Naval College. Hmm. Uh, the idea was that the recruits could have one day a year where they could get out and stretch and do some kind of uh, sports exercises and so forth yeah. in sort of a, a friendly, competitive environment, normally do in school. Hmm. So you're not going to do three-legged races every day in school, but you do it here in, in these. And of course, the, the kids will practice for this uh, to some extent <laughs> uh, moving up. And the other cool thing is that the school's open to parents. So parents can show up, cheer on their kids, uh, and normally halfway through, everyone breaks for lunch, so they get together and eat there, uh, uh, you know, together, which is a lot of fun. And it starts with a parade, so the students will all come in, kind of like the Olympics, imagine that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you get these, um, uh, you know, all the kids coming in in a parade, and then they start on, on the sports. Now, normally two kinds of, of, of events. Some are individual, hmm. so running races. There's an obstacle course often kids have to run through. Yeah. And then some are team-based, so tug-of-war, um, ball tossing, things called cavalry fights. Now those are the when three people get together and hold yeah, somebody on their shoulders. Exactly. Those are great. Yeah, you see there's an anime school rumble has it uh, <laughs> quite, uh, quite constantly. Um, so those are fun. And... They'll usually split the, the kids up between the red team and a white team. Mm. And they'll compete for, for points over the course of the day. It's just a way of kind of splitting it up and, and making it fun. Some fun competition there. Yeah, yeah totally. More points, more points. Yeah. yeah. Now, the school clubs also have an opportunity here to show off their skills. Oh. So if you have a school band, for example, they might perform. Yeah. Um, um, other clubs will get involved as much as they can and uh, kind of you know, show things off a little bit. Nice. A lot of fun. And then between events, they'll also have dances. <laughs> so the students will get a chance to come in and just do a dance cool. for everyone and play <laughs> off and, and have fun, which is kind of a neat way of doing things. Um, high schoolers often will have cheerleaders as well, uh, cheering folks. And as, as you can see on there, most of the cheerleaders are men. It's, mm. it's not a, a female cheerleading thing. The, the guys get together and do these big cheers for everyone. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a neat thing. It's sort of a bonsai, you know, <laughs> enjoy and, and, and do that. <laughs> um, what's interesting also is that there are prizes awarded at the end of the day. Oh, wow. Yeah. And <laughs> what's interesting is the prizes are usually household items. So mm. you'll get like... cooking oil or laundry detergent. Or things you can, that are actually like useful, <laughs> practical, practical, yeah, around the house. Now, part of the reason for this is to encourage the students to think about um, home life and hmm. you know 
one of the ideas was that instead of just giving off random prizes of you know badges and things, get them something that they can actually something useful. Yeah, useful yeah. exactly. And usually they will actually also give off um, you know ribbons and things like that. What's kind of surprising to, to some people is that um, there's also you know the red team and the white team. You know, one of them wins, one of them loses, but the loser also gets an award. Hmm. So there's actually kind of a first place and a second place for those. It's not an all or nothing thing, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so the, the sports days are basically a chance for the school to come together and enjoy themselves and kind of have a, a good time. So now, are upperclassmen competing against lower classmen, or is it uh, time periods so of it, day? Or um, it, so it's generally um, age separated um, mm -hmm. on event. So generally, you're competing against other folks of the same uh, age. Um, in, the, in the events. So there's uh, a uh, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And they're often uh, segregated by gender as well. So hmm. girls competing and then boys competing. So you don't have uh, the senior guy racing against the <laughs> freshman girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and also, sometimes there will be literally different events. So sometimes there's some events only for girls and some oh. events only for guys. A winter um, one with ice. <laughs> well, here's the other thing is that if you're, you know, northern Hokkaido, you're going to do maybe hockey. As opposed to <laughs> something other things. more, right? And uh, we saw a clip there of something where there's a, um, uh, a, a, an area where the kids actually go out to an open field. Uh, this is a very rural area, and they actually play in this field to sort of bless the field, if you will, and, wow. and uh, prepare it for the coming year. Very muddy, <laughs> very messy, but it's a fun way to uh, kind of get the kids out there and enjoy it themselves. It almost looks like dodgeball there. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> what it is. Except a lot more fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thankfully, they've taken off their shoes. Let's just say that. Um, so, yeah, so sports days are a, a fun way for the other kids to enjoy themselves and for the parents also to get involved. You know, they can come out, they can, they can see the school and cheer on their kids uh, for a day and then kind of enjoy it for uh, yeah. <laughs> Bowling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that, those are sports days. Wow. Yeah. That's fascinating. Yeah, pretty cool. So, uh, mostly family attends. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, you're, you're, you're generally not going to see other people there. Um, again, it's one of those things where other folks could show up. Hmm. You might get a, an uncle or a family friend to come by on the sports day, but it's pretty much for families. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big thing. We should also mention that... Um, events will change, obviously, for elementary school versus high school. So in high school, it will be, or, or higher grades, it will be more straight athletics, whereas for elementary schoolers, for example, they will do um, human pyramids hmm. in different sizes, and they'll sort of uh, play around that way. Things are a little less, I don't know, um, strenuous exercise mm -hmm. and a little more... More fun. Yeah, more fun. Coordination. Creative. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> which is a neat way of making it work. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's a, it's a different thing, and it's definitely, you know, something that's just kind of evolved and, and works over there. Excellent. Well, thanks for sharing that with us You're today. You're very welcome. You bet. And thanks for joining us for Culture Shock. See you next time.